Now, to illustrate the effect of a decrease in the interest rate on equilibrium in the money market, we need to start with a diagram of the money market. On a vertical axis, the interest rate, that is the price of money, and horizontal axis, the quantity of money. We have the demand for money curve, and we know that we're working with a demand-determined money supply. So, the equilibrium in the money market is a function of the demand for money, and we know that demand for money is a function of the interest rate and the income. So, at an interest rate of, say, 10%, this will be equilibrium position in the money market. Now, there's a decrease in the interest rate. Let's say the interest rate decreases from, from 10 to 5%. Now, how will this decrease in the interest rate affect the, the equilibrium in the money market? Now, the e easiest way to answer this question is to remember what we've done in microeconomics. If there's a change in price, there's a movement along the curve. If anything else changes, there's a shift of the curve. Now, we already said that the price of money is the interest rate. Now there's a decrease in the interest rate. So, a decrease in the price of movement along the curve. So, if the interest rate decreases from 10 to 5%, we'll move from this position to this position. The quantity of money in the money market will increase to E1. So, to summarize, a decrease in the interest rate leads to an, a new equilibrium position at E1.